The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, Breakout Investing, with your host, Ken Shreve. Hey everyone, how you doing today? Ken Shreve here, Breakout Investing on TFNN. Thanks very much for tuning in. Uh, we got the NCAA basketball tourney underway. I'm two for two. I'll take it. Another good day for the market uh, taking shape here with indices up near session highs. If you want to you know, talk about what's going on in this market, you can give me a call at 877 927 6648. A reminder that my show airs every Tuesday and Thursday on TFNN from 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern. You can get the show anytime you want as a um, podcast on iTunes, and don't forget you can listen to all TFNN programming very easily on your smartphone. Just type in tfnn.mobi in your smartphone browser, and you can listen to the stream that way as well. Uh, don't forget about Tiger TV on the homepage of tfnn.com. You can uh, listen to the show live. You can also see the charts that I'm uh, going over on the program, Channel 1 Live, and the show is also archived on uh, Channel 13. And you can also watch T. Uh, you can also watch Tiger TV on your smartphone as well. So uh, let's go ahead and refresh a chart of the Nasdaq here. See what's uh, going on here with about 50 minutes or so left to go in Thursday's session. Check in on the Nasdaq here, and we'll see that it is uh, up near its session high, up close to 16 points, half a percent, to 3,056. NASDAQ working on uh, three straight gains. It was a pretty pretty quick pullback for the NASDAQ uh, between December 19th up until a couple weeks ago, what the NASDAQ pulled back for about nine days or so uh, after about a 17, 18% move. It normally takes a little more than nine days for an adequate shakeout, an adequate uh, consolidation phase for the market. Um, NASDAQ really didn't uh, spend much time consolidating a while back, but uh, it is hitting uh, new highs here. Volume uh, today tracking pretty close to what we saw on Wednesday. Wednesday, uh, NASDAQ volume was uh, around 1.6 billion shares. We're uh, pretty close to that level uh, today, so not a whole lot of volume in the NASDAQ. Uh, nothing really new there. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, check out the S&P 500. See that this is uh, up close to its session high as well. The S&P 500 is uh, up close to eight points, call it six tenths of a percent to 13.92. The uh, S&P did crawl over this uh, formidable uh, resistance level at 1400. It hit a high of 1402 today. That's its highest level since June 2008. So uh, that's a significant uh, technical development for the S&P 500. Unfortunately, volume not real heavy here on the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, yesterday, volume was um, slightly above average at 850 million shares. We're tracking pretty close to that level uh, today on the S&P uh, 500 and uh, let's check in on the Dow as well. Dow Jones Industrials uh, up, lagging a little bit today, up close to 40 points, three tenths of a percent to 13,233. So uh, the Dow is uh, actually working on what looks like seven straight uh, price gains. So. You know, I mean, listen, this is a frothy market. No doubt there's some frothiness in, in the market. Uh, but if I had a nickel for every person that I talked to that was, you know, looking for a market pullback, uh, I'd be a pretty, pretty rich man. Uh, I still think that the risk probably outweighs the reward here. Uh, I'm seeing some good action in the market today, some fresh uh, breakouts and heavy volume. That's a, that's a good sign. But uh, I think if I'm just kind of forced into a corner here, I think the risk uh, outweighs the uh, reward. Uh, the case for more strength is a good one. The case for a, a pullback here is, is pretty good as well. So um, I have uh, a fair amount of exposure to the market. I'm long uh, several stocks with my Ultimate Growth Stocks model portfolio. If you want to check out my Ultimate Growth Stocks newsletter, you can do that right on the homepage of TFNN.com. Click on the Newsletters tab right on the homepage, then click on Investment Newsletters. 
and you can get more information about Ultimate Growth Stocks. That's a newsletter that is updated once a week, and then I send out uh, email, buy, and sell alerts in between, sometimes uh, market updates. Uh, another way, you can go to my TFNN information page uh, where you can listen to this show live. Uh, also get more information about Ultimate Growth Stocks. You can just go to KenShreve.com. So I use a, a combination of fundamental and technical analysis uh, to decide when to uh, add a stock to the model portfolio. When it comes time to sell a stock, I use technical analysis alone. Uh, my goal is to buy a stock and hold it for a, a long time, sometimes in volatile markets. That's, uh, you know, not, uh, it's, it's easier said than done. Uh, if I buy a stock and, you know, several days later it, it does what, um, you know, I did not expect it to do. I'm not afraid to, to cut losses short and move on. I never let small losses uh, get out of control because if you let a small loss, uh, you know, a 5 10% loss uh, get, turn into a 20, 30, 40% loss, uh, boy, does that take a long time to uh, recover from. And I just don't like to, to be in that position. So if the market tells me I'm wrong on a purchase, I'm not afraid to, uh, to sell, move on, and perhaps revisit the stock at a later date. So uh, overall right now in my growth screens, uh, again, I have not been actively uh, adding new stocks to the portfolio. Most of the buys that I've made uh, were in uh, January, very early February. So uh, I've starting to get some, some nice cushions in several uh, holdings. And I'm just not in a rush to buy anything right now because, frankly, my growth screens are, are telling me uh, that there's not a whole lot happening right now. I mean, certainly I'm not going to uh, uh, by a name like Apple up here, AAPL. Let's check in and see what Apple's doing today. Uh, you know, some sellers finally in the stock today. It hit an intraday high of uh, 600, uh, basically hit $600 a share. Now it's uh, only down a buck 73 to uh, 587.85. It did uh, its intraday low was about um, uh, nine, ten points below that at, at 578. But you can see Apple uh, still holding well above its 10-day moving average, which is at 552. Underneath that is its 20-day moving average, another near-term support level at 537. I think these are the reasonable support levels for Apple right now. Uh, I've been saying I, I would be very surprised if Apple uh, came all the way down to its 50-day moving average at uh, at 483. That would um, the last swing point for Apple. The last time it broke out of a base was when it reported earnings. It gapped up in in January and it broke out over 426, 427. So uh, its 50-day is at 4. 83. That would be a pretty significant pullback for Apple. It's about 100 points below where it is now. Would be actually a, a completely reasonable uh, pullback, um, but I just don't see it getting down that far. The only way it would come down that far is if the NASDAQ, uh, uh, the NASDAQ composite uh, tech stocks in general correct more than I, I, I think they will. So, um, you know, I think that when the market does pull back, uh, I, I'm expecting maybe 5 6% off recent highs, uh, nothing extreme. I don't think we're going to see anything in the order of 10%, um, 15%, uh, something like that. I think when the pullback comes, it'll probably be quick. It'll be fairly uh, moderate uh, as well. So that's a look at... Um, Apple. Obviously, a lot of uh, bullish comments about uh, Apple recently. Yesterday, it was Morgan Stanley. They said the sh shares could hit 960 bucks in 2013. The iPad tablet is uh, gaining traction in the corporate market. Um, and also the iPhone 5. Uh, next refresh uh, for the iPhone is uh, probably going to see a phone that has uh, uh, a quick uh, on the 4G uh, network. So, a lot of uh, catalysts uh, for Apple. You know, what, it, what is amazing, I've kind of lost track. You've probably heard talk that uh, the reason, you know, Apple's up 160 points or so uh, since, the, since the breakout, uh, you know, it's finally seeing some multiple expansion. It's always, uh, it's always sold at a, at a cheap multiple. And even with the move from 426 up to 600, believe it or not, its trailing P.E. ratio is only 17. And it's forward... Uh, PE, even more amazing, is around 13 or 14. So valuation-wise, it's still arguably a cheap stock, and, you know, the bulls are going to say there's there's more upside here. But technically, you know, buying up here after it's uh, very extended, it's about, you know, 30%. 
extended past its last proper entry point uh, I wouldn't touch it with a with a 10 foot pole here and um, I you know I'd also be hesitant even if it does come down to its 10 10 day moving average at 552 uh, which is you know 30 35 points below where it is now I'd be uh, hesitant as well this stock needs to base uh, plain and simple and uh, it will at some point and when a good base forms it um, it's probably going to be three weeks four weeks five weeks uh, long at least and um, you know when a stock makes a move like this, it has to it has to work out the excess that has been uh, built up, uh, built up, and that usually happens uh, during a uh, pullback. How about the transports today? Unbelievable. Let's uh, check in on the. IYT. This is uh, an ETF that uh, I've written about before over at the street. I write uh, I write an ETF uh, b column over at the street for ETF profits, and uh, the, the iShares Dow Jones Transportation Average Index uh, Fund outperforming nicely today. A lot of heavy volume selling in this uh, fund in February, but it has bounced back uh, with conviction today. Very heavy volume in the IYT. It's up 3.3 percent to 95.56. Um, IYT, some of the top holdings. It's got only three railroad stocks in the top ten holdings. Union Pacific, Norfolk Southern, uh, Kansas City Southern, all three of those rails having a big day today. Uh, FedEx and UPS are also in the top five holdings of IYT. Uh, didn't really see any uh, specific news in the transportation uh, sector today. I might have uh, missed it, but very bullish action in the IYT and the rails. Um, overcoming some uh, some recent selling. Let's check in on Union Pacific. This is the top weighted stock in uh, IYT. Shares of Union Pacific up 5% today to 113.23. You can see it is uh, back above uh, these uh, former support levels. Uh, flirting with a move over 117.40 has a little more work to do to get to that swing point, but certainly very encouraging volume in Union Pacific today. And let's also check in on Kansas City Southern. That's KSU on the New York Stock Exchange. That's another 5% gainer today, up uh, $3.55 to 73.57. It's flirting with a move over a, a recent swing point of 74 77 that would be its uh, high over here back in uh, January it looks like so uh, transports on fire today I mean listen this is this is definitely a feather in the bulls cap here you've got uh, you've got the rails acting well today uh, the financials after that Fed meeting earlier this week they've started to come back to life we've talked about the the strength in the XLF JP Morgan uh, financials overall uh, look, uh, look, look, pretty solid. And uh, let's not forget about the semiconductor stocks today that are also rallying uh, pretty, pretty smartly here. The market vectors, uh, semiconductor ETF. Uh, let's see how that's doing today. Up near its session high, up 1.7 percent to uh, 35. Uh, 29. So, um, you know, good uh, good action here as well. The three top holdings in SMH are Intel, Taiwan Semiconductor and TXN. Let's uh, go ahead and check in on, on these three stocks. We'll uh, check in on Intel. Shares of uh, Intel today up a little better than 1% to 2775. Taiwan Semiconductor trades under the symbol TSM. And uh, this is another chip name that uh, continues to show relative uh, price strength. Very extended, you know, just uh, just like Intel. I would not be buying these uh, these two names up here. A lot of extended stocks out there. You just want to be careful not to chase. But shares of Taiwan Semiconductor up uh, 12 cents today, eight tenths of a percent to 14.93. So chip stocks uh, doing well. Um, today as well. All right, folks, thanks very much for tuning in. Uh, always a pleasure. Breakout Investing on TFNN. We'll be back in about four minutes. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I've watched it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. 
Go to TFNN.com today, click Investment Newsletters, and get Ken Shree's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. You've always taken the long view when it comes to investing. But what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. Find yours at DirectionFunds.com. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risk charges, and expenses of Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the Direction Funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com, author of Mastering Probabilities, a daily investment and trading newsletter, and teacher of the money game. Studies show that three out of five people are afraid for their life in trading these markets, and the number one reason given is fear of loss. Look. Fear stands for false evidence appearing real, and the money game proves it. Lesson number one, don't risk more than 1% of your trading capital on any trade. Why, you ask? Because 35 trades in a row where you risk 50 cents and make a dollar are all you need to double your trading capital versus the 230 losing trades in a row you would need to bring your balance to $100. Let me teach you more about the money game risk-free for 30 days. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, for your 30-day risk-free trial. You are born to be a money master, and I'll teach you how. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With the Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right. For a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the technology insider David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a technology insider today. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Breakout Investing on TFNN. Thanks very much for tuning in. 877-927-6648 is the number to use if you want to give me a call. Uh, other headlines uh, today, uh, Cisco Systems. Uh, acquired another company, kind of a big acquisition for the networking giant. It's buying NDS Group which is a provider of video and content security software. Cisco is buying NDS for about $5 billion. Let's check in on shares of Cisco. See what Cisco is doing today. We'll pull this up in uh, Tiger TV. And uh, Cisco has been in a, a consolidation. The stock is down 1.2% today to 1994. Uh, basically, just a good example of a base uh, forming here. Cisco recently came down to its 50 day moving average, uh, found support, selling pressure over the past uh, couple of days, but it's still holding above the 50 day line. And let's uh, check in and see what uh, NDS. I don't know if I have a symbol for NDS actually. Uh, 
I don't know what NDS's uh, NDS Group's uh, symbol is, but um, anyway, Cisco's buying the company for about uh, five billion. Big IPO in the news today. Um, Demandware. DWRE. I don't have a chart for uh, Demandware, but it's a provider of on-demand e-commerce software. You know, you think on-demand, you think of companies like Salesforce.com, CRM. So Demandware is another. Um, uh, on-demand software uh, company. This is really sort of the the nascent uh, field in technology, but uh, the stock priced at uh, it was the proposed range was between 1250 and 1450. It priced at 16 last night, and shares at one point were trading around 24 bucks. Um, so big demand for shares of uh, demand software. Let's check in on a couple of other. Uh, IPOs that uh, look pretty interesting here. Shares of uh, LinkedIn. This is a, a, a current holding in my Ultimate Growth Stocks model portfolio. Uh, like the technical picture of LinkedIn here, the stock is um, up 48 cents today, half a percent to 92.53. Uh, I think the technical picture is strong here and stock uh, certainly uh, flirting with a swing point here of 96.31. 96.31, that was the uh, intraday high set, um, uh, when was that set? Uh, February 21st. February 21st was a reversal here and it came down and it's just kind of flirting with a breakout here. Uh, it's going to need volume but uh, the good thing is is that uh, LinkedIn has been showing signs of uh, you know moderate accumulation in, in recent weeks but um, again fundamental strong, uh, technical strong. Uh, LinkedIn name that I've talked about before on the show it operates um, uh, an online professional uh, network, so employers go in there, find uh, professionals, professionals go in there, find uh, employers, that uh, that type of thing. So uh, LinkedIn act acting well, and uh, Demandware, very successful IPO today as uh, well. Talked about uh, some of these chip stocks doing well today, and uh, let's check in on MSCC, MSCC, a company called Micro Semi. Uh, interesting stock here. This is uh, a name that uh, recently bounced off its 50-day uh, moving average, and you see pretty decent volume as well. So Micro Semi, another interesting uh, chip maker in the semiconductor sector. Micro Semi today up 1.4% to 21 65 and micro semi is um, you know it's not a not a small company it is a small cap uh, stock market cap of 1.9 billion but uh, in a pretty good technical setup here so this is a chip maker uh, worth watching and uh, also in the chip space I uh, got a call on this I've been, gotten a few calls on in Vincent's when I've been filling in for Tom and on, and on my own show earlier this week, shares of uh, Invencense uh, still looking pretty good here. About, came down to its 50-day uh, moving average. It recently had a share offering that was uh, demand was pretty strong, but uh, Invencense today um, having a big day along with the uh, chip stocks overall. Invencense up a dollar thirty-three. That's good for a 6.9 percent gain to uh, 2053. So, I'd like to see Invencense. Uh, uh, base for a little while longer. This is uh, another new issue stock that came public in uh, November, I believe, mid November at eight bucks a share. Uh, recently broke out over a swing point of 1934. That would be right in this area here. Uh, the base really wasn't long enough, though. Typically, when a stock consolidates games and forms a proper base, that process should last for at least five weeks. Something that I learned uh, when during my years at uh, Investors Business Daily when I was uh, there. But uh, you know, when a stock forms a base, it needs time to consolidate gains. And in Vincent's uh, only based for about four weeks or so, I'm going to say. Uh, but it did, you know, bounce uh, bounce nicely off its 50-day moving average, and it continues to show relative price strength in the market. Fast growth too at this company, a lot of positive quality. So, like the stock's potential a lot. Would just like to see it kind of pause and, and take a breather here. So. All right, folks, uh, headed into our next uh, break here. You're listening to Breakout Investing on TFNN. We'll be right back talking about some, uh, some more gainers today. Stick with us. In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become 
become a better trader each week in his newsletter, The Gold Report. With over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week, in addition to covering the XAU, HUI, GLD, and dollar, The Gold Report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market. For your 30-day free trial to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com today. Don't miss out on this great offer. Act now. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you want to get great trade setups in equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on lighter volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in a complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. You can take advantage of this trader's market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under Newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan for Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes that a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation location and the Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC, member SIPC. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the technical corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. This segment is brought to you by Direction Shares. To learn more about technical tools for the sophisticated active investor, hit the Direction Shares banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, quick check on the markets here. 25 minutes left to go in um, Thursday's session. The... Uh, S&P 500 and NASDAQ uh, up about the same amount. The NASDAQ up close to 16 points, half a percent to 3,056. S&P 500 up close to 8 points. That's uh, also 5 tenths, 6 tenths of a percent to 1,401. And the Dow up uh, 44 points, 3 tenths of a percent to 13. 237. So indices holding near highs as we head into the close here. Not much volume in the market today. Again, uh, yesterday we had um, slightly above average volume on the New York Stock Exchange at 850 million shares, coming in pretty close to, or tracking, I should say, pretty close to that level. Uh, right now, uh, NASDAQ volume yesterday below average at 1.6 billion shares, tracking pretty close to that uh, level as well. Taking a look at uh, crude oil today, down 32 cents to 105.11 a barrel. 
Uh, U.S. dollar week, uh, at last check, U.S. dollar index down about 43 ticks to 80.14 soft uh, dollar uh, fueled a little bit of rally in gold today. April gold up $16.60, 1% to end at $1,659.50 an ounce. Let's check in on the GLD Spider Gold Trust. That is currently trading at 161.26. Up a little better than one uh, percent. Um, been talking about the GLD. Obviously, a lot of a um, lot of uh, technical damage in the GLD caused in uh, in recent days. A lot of a uh, lot of selling pressure. Especially, you know, the U.S. dollar index has been uh, strengthening a little softness today, but uh, it has been moving higher with uh, with conviction in recent days. But the GLD had a big reversal on uh, February 29th. You can see that. Um, right here and it just hasn't been able to uh, recover yet still below its 50-day moving average at uh, 165.34 so GLD again trading at 161.26 up a little better than 1% on the uh, session talked about the strength in uh, financials uh, you've just got a lot of uh, positive undercurrents in this market even though it is a frothy market the um, XLF is a uh, uh, ETF that holds a basket of uh, financial stocks. Uh, that is following through again today, working on three straight gains. Uh, XLF made a big move on Tuesday after the uh, Fed statement came out. Of course, then the uh, Fed announced the latest uh, results from, I think it was the third round of stress tests that the Fed has been uh, conducting. Uh, 15 out of 19 banks uh, passed, but XLF uh, continues to trade well. Uh, decent volume in the fund over the past uh, three sessions. It is up another 1.9% today to 15.73. Top holdings in the financial select sector Spider Fund, uh, Wells Fargo, uh, JP Morgan, Berkshire Hathaway, uh, not sure if it's the A shares or B shares there, Citigroup and Bank of America as well. Uh, another interesting uh, ETF that I uh, wrote about earlier today at uh, over at uh, the street for ETF uh, profits. This is a, a small, kind of illiquid fund, but uh, also acting very well here. The I shares Dow Jones U.S. Regional Banks uh, ETF. That is up 2.2% uh, today to 24.91. Um, nice uh, breakout in this uh, fund uh, also and uh, following through again today, outperforming the uh, XLE, as a matter of fact. Uh, top holdings for IAT are U.S. Bancor, USB, uh, PNC Financial, uh, Fifth Third Bancor, and SunTrust uh, Bank. So some regional bank holdings in the IAT also outperforming today. Uh, economic data, weekly jobless claims, another good reading there uh, earlier today. Weekly jobless claims down 14,000 to 351,000. Producer price index, nothing alarming here. Overall, prices up four-tenths of a percent. The core rate uh, up two-tenths of a percent. The estimate was for uh, uh, prices to rise five-tenths of a percent with the core rate up two-tenths of a percent. So mostly in line there. Meanwhile, the Philadelphia Fed's business outlook survey uh, improved and also showed uh, an acceleration in manufacturing activity in March, rising to 12.5 from 10.2 in February. Tomorrow, we've got the Consumer Price Index. Uh, that'll be out before the open industrial production capacity utilization for February. That'll also be out tomorrow, as well as the uh, University of Michigan sentiment reading for March. Remember, earlier this week, the Investor's Business Daily Tip Economic Optimism Index. That's the first reading on consumer confidence every month. That uh, that fell, not by much, but it did it did fell, and uh, that index is still in pessimistic territory. So, uh, University of Michigan tends to track uh, pretty closely with what IBD says uh, earlier in the week. So, uh, wouldn't be surprised to see um, to see a weaker than expected reading in consumer confidence uh, tomorrow. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see what University of Michigan has to say. Take a look at some earnings reports uh, today. Earnings season really has quieted down at this point, but let's take a look at shares of Ross Stores. That's R O S T on the NASDAQ. Uh, stock has uh, recovered nicely along with the uh, the market here. Shares of Ross uh, stores were down sharply initially, hit an intraday low of 54.71, but uh, currently trading around 56.35, down 22 cents. Um, uh, four-tenths of a percent uh, decline to, uh, again, 56.35. Uh, uh, another example of, uh, of an extended stock here, 
stock uh, recently uh, broke out over 52.71, uh, now at 56.35, so uh, haven't had a base breakout in raw stores for, for quite some time. In fact, the last time it broke out uh, was over here back in uh, late February where it uh, it cleared what's uh, called a three weeks tight pattern where it was moving up in price and then it paused and just moved uh, sideways and flashed a series of tight weekly closes in its weekly chart. Uh, so the last swing point for raw stores was 52.71 but it's uh, still even extended from that uh, add-on uh, buy point. Uh, interesting uh, mover today. Let's uh, take a look at some uh, some high-quality growth stocks or just stocks that are showing price strength with good fundamentals that are uh, moving in heavy volume today. Let's take a look at uh, Fleet Core Technologies, a name that uh, really wasn't familiar with uh, before today, but that can sometimes happen when I'm going through my growth screens, being introduced to a, uh, a stock that... Um, you know, just uh, volume starts coming into it, and you just get introduced to a new name like this. So this is FLT on the New York Stock Exchange. Company uh, basically provides fuel card and payment products to uh, businesses. It's uh, it's also in the energy. Um, uh, has a lot of uh, customers in the oil and gas in the energy field. On Wednesday, the company priced a secondary offering of six million shares at 36.50 per share. You can see it. Um, see the big vol volume yesterday on the offering, but the stock did manage to finish up near its session high, and it's making a pretty nice move today in volume. And I just wanted to show you a weekly chart of uh, Fleet Core. And again, a reminder that when I evaluate a stock for inclusion in my ultimate growth stocks model portfolio, I do use a combination of fundamental and technical analysis. And when I do look at a chart, I use both daily and weekly charts. So here's a look at a weekly chart for Fleet Core. And you can see just a classic example of a stock that, that you know is in the early stages of a breakout here. You look at the daily chart, you might think, ah, I might have run too far. But um, See, I, I drew this uh, drew this line on the weekly chart and uh, really looks strong here, uh, showing decent signs of accumulation, uh, outstanding earnings and sales growth in recent quarters, and uh, you know, bottom lines are a lot to lot to like about this company: high return on equity, uh, increasing mutual fund ownership, uh, good, nice acceleration in sales growth uh, when the company um, reported its uh, latest uh, earnings. So. Uh, Fleet Corps, FLT, looks uh, interesting here. Let's check in on uh, Las Vegas Sands. Uh, obviously, Las Vegas Sands has a big um, uh, presence in Macau off of mainland China. Shares of LVS outperforming nicely today, up uh, close to 3% to 57.61. You, you have a few choices for these, uh, for these gaming companies that have a big presence in uh, China. You have LVS, which uh, technically is the, the strongest stock here, showing the best relative price strength in the market. That's, uh, that's where I tend to focus my attention. Uh, Wynn is another favorite. I uh, know a lot of people still follow this stock, but uh, this one's a little more wild, and its uh, price uh, rel its price strength is just not uh, hasn't been as strong as uh, Las Vegas Sands in in recent months. You can see when uh, tends to uh, trade erratically with big wide intraday uh, price swings, but um, stock up 1.9 percent today to 128.48. Um, my favorite name in in this group is uh, Las Las Vegas Sands. Um, let's check in on Lululemon. L U L U. This is a stock that I uh, took profits in not too long ago. Uh, might have been a little too uh, early here, but um, you know, took a, took a nice gain in Lululemon. Uh, the stock continues to outperform. It's up 2.6% uh, today to 74.29. Really a high quality specialty retailer here. They specialize in uh, yoga wear. Uh, earnings are due next week, March 22nd, before the open. Uh, earnings expected to be up 53% from a year ago to 49 cents a share. Sales up 48% to 362.2 uh, million. You had a big gap up on January 10th when the uh, company surprised the market, frankly, with uh, pretty bullish um, uh, earnings guidance. Uh, series of low volume gains uh, since then. So to me, it looks like Lulu is kind of wedging higher, not a whole lot of conviction behind the buying, but the market is certainly optimistic about uh, a positive earnings report uh, from this uh, from this company. Uh, next week, uh, actually quite a few earnings reports. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say quite a few earnings reports, but uh, several shall we say, uh, high-quality companies uh, set to report, Adobe Systems, ADBE. Let's check in, uh, check in on Adobe here. 
ahead of its earnings report next week. Uh, shares of Adobe, you know, another another strong performer here that is extended in price. This is a big issue in the market right now. I can't reiterate it enough that uh, you know what what is left out there to buy with stocks, you know, running higher for two and a half three months now. Um, you know, the supply of extended stocks far outweighs the supply of stocks that, you know, look compelling in the early stages of, uh, of price moves. There are still some out there, but it's a pretty uh, pretty small crop. I mentioned uh, just a few minutes ago Fleet Core Technologies, FLT. Uh, that is still in the early stages of a breakout, but a name like Adobe, uh, very extended up here. But again, showing price strength ahead of its earnings report uh, next week. Uh, Oracle. Uh, Oracle, not a leader at this point. You can see it's actually been kind of a, a laggard stock. It has been, uh, you know, rallying with the market lately, but still deep inside a, a base here. Uh, Oracle up uh, 21 cents to 30.05. Uh, they report next week. Mentioned the strength in the transports earlier in the show. Uh, FedEx is another top holding of the. Uh, that ETF we went over, the iShares uh, Dow Jones Transportation Average Index Fund, uh, FedEx a top holding in that ETF. Um, having a good day today, up 2.7% to 9471. It uh, reports next week as well. Uh, Dollar General, Accenture, Nike, some other uh, strong performers also set to report next week. Uh, let's check in on Trimble, Trimble Navigation here. This is. Um, interesting company, uh, Trimble Navigation, uh, another uh, holding in my ultimate growth stocks model portfolio. Nice uh, nice breakout uh, for Trimble recently. Stock is outperforming nicely today, up 3.2% to 54.37. 54 and uh, yeah, Trimble is uh, actually a pretty good example of a stock that also uh, recently uh, broke out of a, of a nice base. It actually broke out in early, late January, early February, and then it started moving sideways and started moving sideways right here. And you had a, uh, an alternate uh, pivot, I guess you could say, an alternate swing point of 52.50. Uh, so uh, this name also looks good. Um, you know, seeing a good volume in the stock uh, today and on on Tuesday when the market rallied uh, broadly. So Trimble Navigation acting uh, very well. Company makes uh, advanced positioning equipment like GPS receivers, uh, laser range finders, inertial navigation systems. Uh, you see its products a lot in uh, companies that have a big fleet of trucks that need to communicate with uh, with one another in terms of scheduling. Uh, so Trimble in a in a, a very interesting business that is enjoying strong uh, growth. Uh, it serves uh, fields like surveying, construction, agriculture, and again, fleet uh, fleet management is a big um, big market. Um, as well. So Trimble doing well. Uh, still like F5 Networks a lot here. FFIV. Uh, I do not own this stock, but uh, I, you know it is showing compelling uh, price action. Shares of F5 lagging a little bit today, up 26 cents to 132.12. But um, recently broke out over 117 dollars and 30 cents. Uh, let's just go check a weekly chart of F5, and I'll show you what F5 is doing here. I marked up the chalk. So you had a, a a recent breakout right here. The swing point was 117.30. Here was the breakout week, and then it just came right down to its 10-week moving average. So uh, continues to show uh, price strength in this uh, market. Continues to act well. Really have to look at F5 as one of the highest quality uh, network ne networking names uh, out there. Uh, other stocks in the group that continue to act very well: Solar Winds. SWI, just not seeing any selling pressure uh, in this uh, recent new issue as well. Solar winds up uh, close to 1.5% today to 38.62. We'll check in on a weekly chart for solar winds. Do that. Let's see if I can find it. There it is, solar winds. So if you're watching in Tiger TV, and uh, you know, again, you see a, a breakout uh, for for Solar Winds, and didn't quite come down to its 10-week moving average. But you know, so many stocks showing price strength out there, that certainly is a feather in the bull's uh, bull's cap. I'm still cautious here. You know, a lot of extended stocks out there. That's a, a big a big issue I have right now. But I'm still long. I'm st I still have exposure to the market, just not in a rush to be you know buying a whole lot of stuff right now. All right, folks, headed into the last segment. We'll be right back. Breakout investing on TFNN.
In the world of financial markets, there's a new player in town with an exciting new way to trade the markets. Nadex now offers binary options as well as bull spreads in a wide range of indices along with commodity and forex markets. With as little as $100, you can gain access to a new way to trade global financial markets while guaranteeing that your risk will always be capped. Nadex allows you to multiply your trading opportunities in ways never imagined before and access markets you once thought were out of reach. With short-term trading opportunities available, including binary options expiring each hour the market is open, Nadex allows you to take advantage of a variety of market conditions regardless of volatility or market direction. Now is the time to take advantage of this exciting new market. Don't let this trading opportunity pass you by. Open your account today by clicking on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Nadex, a better way to trade. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be at the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today, click Investment Newsletters, and get Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. Hey folks, turns out my best student became my best teacher. Steve Rhodes absolutely raised my standards, and I'll guarantee he'll raise yours. Thanks, Tom. What I've learned is that if you want more, you must become more, and that transformation, folks, that occurs the moment you decide to become a master. Now, the quickest way to mastery is through immersion, and for two solid days in Denver, Boston, and Tampa, I'll create a new standard of wealth for those few trader investors who have a burning desire to succeed. At my Master Trader course, I'll teach you how to create the ultimate money machine. These are the best-kept secrets in the business. Roadblocks, folks. Dabblers give up when they first appear. Stressors last just a little bit longer, but masters expect roadblocks and achieve extraordinary results when they bust right through them. I have all the benefit of knowing the type of wealth creation that I can generate for you. You don't. That's why I'm making this unconditional money-back guarantee. If for any reason you're not satisfied with my Master Trader course, I'll refund every penny. That's right. I take all the risk, and you get all the benefit. Go to the homepage at TFN.com and sign up today. Put the power of the Chapman Wave method methodology to work for you. No matter what market you trade, what time frame you trade in, or your trading style, the opening call, Basil Chapman's daily market newsletter, is bursting with the information and trades you need to become a more successful trader. I've been using Basil Chapman's Chapman Wave methodology for several years now. His Chapman Wave can be used for any time period for not only equities, but futures, currencies, commodities. I've been also a subscriber of his opening call, which I find an invaluable tool to help me analyze the potential of the market each day. He gives you opportunities to go short and long. It includes recommendations on stocks. I strongly recommend people using the Chapman Wave and very, very strongly support the use of his opening call. To find out more about Basil Chapman and his Chapman Wave methodology, and to get your two-week free trial of the opening call, a $64 value, visit TFNN.com today. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it just, it's just wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, founder and CEO of TFNN, professional trader and educator. Also a special guest on CNBC, analyzing the commodity markets. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, five minutes left to go in Thursday's session, and market hanging in there pretty pretty decent. Uh, NASDAQ up uh, close to 14 points, half a percent to 3,054. S&P 500 holding right at that 1,400 level, a key level of resistance up to this point. Uh, 1,400, that's the highest level the S&P 500 has been since, I want to say, June 2008, thereabouts. But S&P up about 6.5 points. Five tenths of a percent to that 1400 level, and the Dow lagging just a little bit up 40 points, three tenths of a percent to 13,000. 
234. All right. Um, a couple stocks uh, declining today, but not by much. A uh, big leader like Intuitive Surgical, Deck 100 name, you know, just not seeing any selling pressure at all in this uh, market leader. Uh, Intuitive is another example of a stock that is extended. I would not be buying it up at uh, current levels. Definitely a high quality name makes the Da Vinci robotic surgical system. Uh, stock is down 63 cents today, down uh, one tenth of 1% 1 to 5.27.57. Uh, so very modest uh, selling pressure in Intuitive Surgical. Let's check in on another uh, new issue here, Fusion IO. Fusion IO makes a storage memory platform, very innovative company here. They make a storage memory platform where uh, companies basically, it helps companies decentralize their, uh, their data. Um, Fusion IO having a little bit of trouble uh, making headway here. It, it, it tried for a breakout Recently, I want to say it was 31.42. Let me get that. Um, let me get that uh, that swing point for you. It was a high set. Uh, $30.49, the high set on January 24th. So it was back over in this area here. You can see it's having some problems uh, breaking out with uh, conviction. That could sometimes happen when a stock is still kind of deep inside a base like Fusion IO. But uh, you see some selling uh, closed near lows uh, over on this day right here. Another closed near lows here. Um, tighter range uh, today, but the stock is still down 3% to 3108. Um, excellent fundamentals here. Uh, strong growth is uh, expected for this company, but um, still not buyable here. It um, you know stock goes from you know 42, 41 bucks a share, uh, comes down in price. You got to be careful you know getting these things uh, on sale. So I would I would wait for Fusion IO to uh, complete the base. Um, it is a stock that has you know seen some decent amount of uh, accumulation, but acting a little uh, squirrely over the past um, two weeks or so. So I'd wait for this one to base a, a little while longer. How about shares of uh, Under Armour? Under Armour, another strong performer in the market here. Uh, stock right now is down 1.7% today. A little bit of selling pressure. Again, you know, it's a broken record, a stock that is extended uh, after a uh, recent breakout over 87 bucks a share back in this area here. Stock is at 95.88 right now, but uh, still holding above its 10-day 10, uh, 10 moving average. A little bit of selling pressure in Under Armour today. Again, down 1.7% to 95.88. Uh, uh, mentioned economic data on tap uh, for tomorrow. We've got the Consumer Price Index for February coming up, uh, Industrial Production Capacity Utilization, and also the uh, Michigan Sentiment Consumer Confidence uh, reading. That'll be out uh, uh, tomorrow. Not much in the way of earnings, but uh, again, I mentioned uh, Adobe Systems reports uh, Monday next week. On Tuesday, we've got Tiffany and Oracle uh, Wednesday. Uh, let's see, General Mills, Discover Financial, Thursday. Pretty uh, busy day on Thursday next week. Dollar General, FedEx, Lululemon, Accenture, and Nike. So uh, gets busy uh, later in the week. So folks, uh, don't forget, if you want to uh, check out Ultimate Growth Stocks for 30 days free, you can do that right on the homepage of TFNN.com. Uh, go to the Newsletters tab, then click on Investment Newsletters. You can also check out KenShreve.com. Coming up next, the Tom O'Brien. Brian Show, 4 to 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern. My next edition of Breakout Investing will be next Tuesday from 3 to 4 Eastern. Have a great afternoon, everyone. Good luck with the brackets.